dear students welcome to another session of my lecture series in today's class i will be discussing a gauss seidel iteration method of solving system of linear equations the gauss seidel method is applied to any system of equations where the diagonal elements are not equal to zero the solution is guaranteed only when the system of equations is diagonally dominant gauss seidel method gauss seidel method is an iterative method is an iterative iterative method used to solve used to solve a system of linear equations solve a system of linear equations linear equations though it can be applied though it can be applied to any system any any system of equations any system of equations with non zero elements with non zero elements on the diagonal on the diagonals the convergence is the convergence the convergence is guaranteed is only guaranteed if the system of equations is diagonally dominant if the system of equations if the system of equations is diagonally dominant is a diagonal Dominant. Now, first, let us understand what is diagonally dominant. Diagonally dominant system of equations. Diagonally dominant system of equations. System of equations. Diagonally dominant system of equations. A system of simultaneous linear equations is called a system of simultaneous linear simultaneous linear equations. linear equations is called is called a diagonally dominant 
डायगोनल है डोमिनेंट इस कॉल्ड ए डायगोनल इज डोमिनेंट इफ ईच डायगोनल एलिमेंट ए ई डायगोनल एलिमेंट Each diagonal element in absolute value in absolute value absolute value is greater than a is greater than The sum of the absolute values greater than the sum of the absolute sum of the absolute values of the half of the half diagonal elements in the equation. Absolute value sum the Of diagonal, of diagonal elements in that equation. Yeah, that equation. Okay. Now to explain this Gauss-Seidel iteration method, let me consider. A diagonally dominant system of equations with three unknowns. Consider, consider a diagonally, diagonally dominant, diagonally dominant system of equations. System of equations. Let us say a one one x one plus a one two x two plus a one three x three equal to some constant b one. Second equation a two one x one plus A two two x two plus a two three x three is equal to b two a three one x one plus a three two x two plus a three three plus a three Three x three is equal to b. So let me call this as equation one. So this is a diagonally dominant system of equations where absolute value is given, where where absolute value of a one one. Is greater than absolute value of sum of the absolute value of a one two and a one three, a one two, a one three. Similarly, a two two, a two two. Diagonal element second second equation is greater than sum of the absolute values of a two one and a two three. Is greater than a two one plus a two three, a two three, and 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 absolute value of a three three is greater than absolute value of a three one. Plus absolute value of a three two, a three two. The system of equations one.
This is not our patient. Well, maybe the dead hands. This is stuck. Of the equations. Maybe we can add. Maybe we can add. Return as. Now from the first equation, solve for x1. From the second equation, solve for x2. And from the third equation, solve for x3. So x1 is 1 divided by a11 into b1 minus a12 x2 a12 x2 minus a13 x3 a13 x3 from the second equation solve for x2 x2 is 1 divided by a22 into b2 minus a21 x1 minus a23 x3. For the third equation, solve for x3. So you get 1 divided by a33 into into a31 x b3 b3 minus a31 x1 a31 x1 x1 minus a32 x2 a32 x So call this as equation number equation number two. To start the equation, let us assume that the initial approximation to the values of x1 and x2, x3 be 0. Suppose, suppose x1 0, x2 0, x3 0 are the initial approximate values are the initial initial approximate initial approximate values initial approximate values of x1 x2 x3 of 1 of x1 x2 and x3 of the given system of equations 1 Substituting this into first equation of 2. Substituting. Substituting. X2 0. Substituting X2 0 for X2. X3 0 for X3. In the first equation of 2 we get the first approximation value to the x1. So, substituting x2 0 for x2 and x3 0 for x3 In the first equation of 2, in the first equation, first equation of 2, we get the first approximation to x1. We get 
we get the first approximation, first approximation, first approximation, we get the first approximation. First approximation to x1. That is, that is x1 1. So this one denotes the approximation, first approximation. The similar thing. Now we have obtained first approximation from the equation one of the set uh, two, first equation of the two. And its value is x11. Now, in the second equation, we have to replace x1 by x11, not x20. So, substituting x11 for x1, x30 for x3, in the second equation of 2, we get the second first approximation to x2. So, x11 is therefore x11 first approximation to x1. Expression for this is a11 b1 minus a12 x20 minus a13 x3 x3 Substituting, substituting, substituting x11 for x1, x30 for x3 in the second equation of 2. Substituting x11 for x1 and x3 0 for x3 x3 0 for x3 in the second equation in the second equation of 2 the second equation of 2 we get we get the first approximation to x2. We get the first approximation. First approximation. First approximation to x2. First approximation to x2. That is x2 1 first approximation to x2 that is x2 1 x2 1 first approximation to x2 1 <coughs> so therefore x2 1 is 1 divided by a 2 2 b 2 minus b 2 minus a 2 1 x 1 1 minus a 2 3 x 3 0 x 3 0 similarly substituting Substituting x11 for x1, x21 for x2. In the third equation of 2, we get the first approximation to x3. Substituting x11 for x1 and x21 for x3 
for x3. In the second equation, third equation, in the third equation, third equation of 2 of 2, we get we get the first approximation we get the first approximation first approximation to x3 to x3 that is x3 1 first approximation to x3 x3 1 therefore x3 1 is equal to 1 divided by a3 3, 3 times a3 1 x1 1, 1 b3 minus b3 minus a3 1 x1 1, 1 minus a3 2 x2 1 minus a3 2 x2 1 a3 2 x2 1. Now, after the completion of this, x1 1 obtained from this expression, x2 1 obtained from this expression, x3 1 obtained from this expression will act as initial approximations to obtain the second approximations to x1, x2 and x3. minus a21 
a to one. Now we are going to be case one. <coughs> Already I've obtained second approximate x one that should be used here. So replacing x one by x one two now. So a to one x one two. Still we don't know what is x three a two. So minus a two three x three one. X three one. Now x one two x two two are both norms. So use those in the third equation to obtain the second approximation to x three. So x three two one divided by a three three into b three three b three minus a three one x one two. Minus a three two x three uh, x two x two. Okay. So in general, okay. and now reading x one two x two two x three two as initial approximations, we can find. The next approximate value is to x1, x2, x3. That is x13, x23, x33. Similarly, so in general, and so on, and so on. In general, in general, in general, <coughs> k plus one iteration x1, k plus one is equal to. One divided by a one one into b one minus a one two x two x two k minus a one three x three k x three k. Then similarly x two k plus one. Is one divided by a two two into b two minus a two one a two one x one k plus x one k plus one is available new value of x x one that should be used here x one k plus one uh, minus a two three x three k. X three k. Then k plus one the approximation to x three k plus one is one divided by a three three into b three minus a three one a three one x one k plus one k plus one. Minus a three two, a three two, x two k plus, x two k plus. So <coughs> these iterations are continued till the two successive iterations are the same up to the desired accuracy. The iteration iteration process is to be stopped. The iteration process is to be stopped. Is to be stopped when the two successive iterations when. The two successive iterations, two successive iterations, are the same up to the desired accuracy. Iterations are the same 
are the same up to the desired accuracy. Desired accuracy. Up to the desired accuracy. Okay, let us consider a few examples on solving a diagonally dominant system of equations uh, by using gauss seidel iteration method. Let me consider this example. Use Gauss Seidel iteration method to solve. Use Gauss Seidel iteration method. Iteration method. to solve to solve to solve 10x plus y plus z is equal to 12 2x plus 10y 2x plus 10y plus z is equal to 13 plus z is equal to 13 2x plus 2y plus z is equal to 40 is equal to 40 <coughs> now this is a diagonally dominant system of equations n is much larger than the sum of the absolute values of coefficients of y and z d i and similarly Diagonal element 10 is greater than some of the absolute values of the coefficients of x and z. And similarly, diagonal element 10 is greater than some of the non-diagonal elements to some of the non-diagonal elements 2 and 5. 2 and 2, that is 4. Okay. So this is a diagonally dominant system of equations. And we write it as solve for x from the equation 1, y from equation 2, z from equation 3. Solution 1. So let me mention that the given system of equation is diagonal dominant. The given system of equations is diagonally diagonally dominant diagonally dominant and we write as and we write it as and we rewrite rewrite it as x is equal to 1 by 10 times 12 minus y minus z minus y minus z y 
is equal to 1 by 10 times 30 minus 2x minus z. 30 minus 2x minus z. Similarly, for the third equation, z is 1 by 10 40 minus 2x minus 2y. 40 minus 2x minus 2. Initially, let us assume the initial values are 0, x is 0, y is 0, z is 0. Let, let x is 0 is equal to y0 is equal to z0 all are equal to 0 be the initial approximate values of x y z be the initial be the initial approximation initial initial approximation Initial approximate values of x, y, and z respectively. Respectively. Now, let us substitute y is equal to 0, y0 is equal to 0. Replace y by y0 that is 0. Replace z by z0 initial approximation that is 0, 0. So replace y by 0, z by 0 and find out what is the value of x as a first approximation to x. First iteration. So let me write like this. First iteration. Uh, this is obtained by using these values in the equations, first equation to get first approximation. Substitute that x here and this, this z here, we get this first approximation to y. Substitute both the values obtained from these two equations in this third equation to get the first approximation to z. <coughs> so, first equation is this. So, x1, so 1 denotes first iteration. So, this is obtained. So, this is equal to 1 by 10 times 1 minus 0 minus 0 is equal to 1.2. First approximation to x is 1.2. Similarly, first approximation to the second y this y is 1 by 10 into 13 minus 2x we should not use 0 we have to use this newly obtained value for x so 2 into so minus 2 into 1.2 minus z z is 0 so 1 by 10 times 13 minus 2 into 1.2, if we calculate carefully, we get 1.06, 1 1.06, 1 then first approximation to z is 1 by 10 into, now I will use these two values here to get the first approximation to z. So, 14, 14 minus 2 into 1.2 minus 2 into 1.06 and this is equal to, this is equal to, if you carefully compute, get 0 0.95, 0 0.95. So 1.2, 1.06, 
0.95 constitute first approximate values to x, y, z respectively. Now for the second iteration, second iteration, iteration, x2, second iteration, <coughs> 1 by 10, 1 by 10 into 12, 12 minus y, 1.06, and we use this value, 1.06, 1.06 minus z minus 0.95 minus 0.95 if you carefully <coughs> compute you get 0 0.99 next second approximation to y 1 by 10 times 30 30 minus 2 into x so I had to use this value 2 into 0.999 plus uh, uh, minus 2 into 0 0.999 minus z z is 0.95 0.95 So if you simplify using calculator, you get 1.005. Then second approximation to z, z2, 1 by 10 into 40, 40 minus 2 into x, 2 into 0.999, 2 into 0.99. Then minus 2 into y, this value 1.0052. So if you use the calculator and simplify or compute this, you get 0 0.9991. Third iteration. So now each time you have to compare uh, this with the previous iterated value. There is a large difference. So we have to continue with the uh, next iteration. So third iteration. Third iteration. Third iteration. X3. Third iteration is 1 by 10 into 12 minus uh, <coughs> 1.0y minus y minus z 12 minus y minus z so y is this value z is this value minus 1.0052 minus z minus 0 0.9991 so if you compute this using calculator you get point triple nine five point nine nine five. Similarly, third approximation to y is one divided by ten into thirty minus two into x. So two into point nine 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 five. So two into point nine 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 five. Minus z minus y. This value will be minus y nine nine nine. So if you compute this using calculator, you get one point one point zero zero zero. Okay. Third approximation to z is one divided by ten into 1 by 10 into 40 40 minus 2 into x 2 into this value plus 2 into 5 9 9 9 5 minus 2 into y minus 2 into 
this value of y, 1.0001. So if you <coughs> compute this using calculator, you get uh, after four decimal places, 1000. Now we have to compare again. After four decimal places, there is a difference. Right? Small difference is there. So we have to continue. Four iteration. Fourth iteration. Fourth iteration. X four. X four is one divided by ten times twelve minus. y minus z y is this minus 1.0001301 minus z minus 1.00 so this is 0.9999 if you carefully compute then y4 Y4 is 1 divided by 10, 13 minus 13 minus 2x minus z. 2x, 2 into this value, 0 0.9999 minus 2x minus z, minus z. Z is this value, 1 point, 1 point, 0, 0. Close the bracket. So if you carefully simplify, we get 1 point 1 point 0, 0, 0, 0. Then fourth approximate value of Z, Z4. Z4 is 1 by 10 times 14 minus 2x minus 2. Minus 2x. So 2 into this is 0 0.9999 minus 2y 2 into this value 1.000. So if you carefully calculate using calculator, you get 1.000. Now look at the third, for third and fourth iterations. They are nearly the same, if not exactly, they are nearly the same. So we stop the iteration process, one, the two successive iterations are exactly the same or nearly the same. So since the third and fourth iterations since third and fourth Says third and fourth iterations are the same, are the same up to four decimal places, up to four decimal places. Up to four decimal places. X is approximately equal to point nine 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 nine. Y approximately equal to one point zero zero zero. Z is approximately equal. 1.0003. So that equals what we can approximate. So this is approximately equal to 1. This is approximately equal to 1. 
this is approximately equal to 1. So you can check this x is equal to 1, y is equal to 1. Uh, satisfies the equation. They are the actual solutions. So 0.999 is the approximate solution. So for x, y, z, 0.999, 1.01, and z is equal to 1 are the approximate solutions. As a first step, let us verify whether the given equation is diagonal dominant. This is a diagonal dominant system of equations, and we have to solve for x from the first equation, y from the second equation, and z from the third equation. The given system of equations, the given system of equations is a diagonal number diagonal diagonal dominant the given system of equations is diagonal dominant and we write it as and we rewrite our simply we write it as x is equal to 1 by 10 times 9 minus 2 y minus z. y is equal to 1 by 10 times minus 22 minus x plus z minus x plus z from the third equation 1 by 10 times plus 22 plus 2x minus 3y minus 3y that x0 b equal to 0, y0 zero, 0, z0 zero, 0 is the initial approximation. To the 
x, y, and z. Now, the first iteration, first iteration, first iteration, we substitute for y, 0, z, 0, and of time x. After getting the value of x, we substitute the value of x, newly obtained value of x in second equation, and for z, 0, and compute y. Then we substitute both x and y newly obtained values in the third equation to obtain the first approximation to z. This is the procedure. So, first approximation to x, x1 is 1 divided by 10 into 9 minus 2 into 0 minus 0 that is 9 by 10 point 9. 0 point then first approximation to y is 1 divided by 10, 1 divided by 10 into minus 22 minus x, so minus 0.9, this value is to be used, plus z plus 0. So this is going to be, if you compute properly, uh, minus 2.29, minus 2.29. Two nine minus 2.29. That's the third equation. First approximation. First approximation to z is 1 by 10 into plus 22. 22 plus 2 into 2 into 0 0.9. 0 0.9. Minus 3 into y, minus 3 into minus 2.29. So if you compute, you get the value. Into 
22 plus 22 plus 2x 2 into 1 point 0 8 7 3 minus 3 into y y is minus 2 point 0 3 8 0 so if calculations <coughs> are made We carefully calculate. We get three point zero two double eight. Three point zero two double eight. Now compare the iterated values here. This set with this set, there is a difference. So we continue with iterations. Third iteration. Third iteration x3 is 1 by 10, 9 minus 2 into y, y is this minus 2.0380. Uh, minus z, z is this 3.0288. And if you carefully compute, you get third approximation dx 1.0047. Okay. Third approximation to y 1 divided by 10 into minus 22 minus 22 minus x. So now I have to use this one minus 1 point 0, 0, 4, 7, plus z z is this plus 3 point 0, 2, double a if you talk you carefully using calculator you get y3 is equal to minus 1 point double nine seven nine minus 1 point Double nine seven four minus one point nine nine seven. Third approximation is one point ten twenty two plus twenty two plus two x plus two into x is one point zero zero. 4, 7, minus 3y, minus 3 into, y is this value, minus 1.997, so if you copy it carefully, so you get the value for z3, 3.0001, 3.0001, up to 4 decimal places. Now, again in compare, <coughs> they are likely to be uh, near, but not the same of the four decimal places. So, we continue again with fourth iteration, iteration, with fourth iteration, x4 is 1 by 10 times 9 minus 2 into y y is this value minus 1.9975 minus z so z is this 3.0013.301 so if you compute this carefully compute this carefully x4 is 0 0.9994 0 0.9994 0 0.9994 0 0.9994 0 0.9994 0 0.9994 0 0.9994 0 0.9994 0 0.9994 0 0.9994 0 0.9994 0 0.9994 0 0.9994 0 0.9994 0 
four calculation is 1 by 10 times minus 22 minus 22 minus x so minus 5 9 9 9 4 plus z plus 3.000 plus 3.000 1. So if you compute this, you get y4 <coughs> minus 1 point minus 1 point nines, 4 nines minus 1 point 9999. Nine, nine, nine. Then fourth iteration or approximation to z is 1 by 10 22 22 plus 2 into x this value of x 0 0.9994 minus 3y minus 3 this value minus 1.9 9, 9, 9. If you carefully compute, we get Z4 is equal to 2 2.9998. 2.9998. 2.9998. Again, <coughs> comparing this fourth iteration with third iteration, if they are same on four different places, we can stop. So, since there is a difference, we have to continue with fifth iteration.
iteration. Sixth iteration. Sixth iteration. X six is equal to one by ten. Nine minus two into y. Y is this minus two. Minus two. Minus z. Minus three. Three is equal to one. Is equal to one. Then y six one by ten <coughs> minus twenty two minus twenty two minus x is minus one plus z plus three is equal to minus two. Then six approximation to z is one by ten plus twenty two plus two into one two into one minus three into minus two minus three into minus two is three. Okay. Now look at the sixth and fifth iteration. They are the same up to four decimal places. So therefore, we stop the iteration process and conclude the approximate values of x, y, z are one, two, one minus two, and since. Thank you.